So hi everyone, today I'd like to talk about invalu Invaluable Full Wear Concealer. This was actually a sample I was able to request from L'Oreal back in 2019. Um, they sent a number of their concealer shades in little pods. Um, I tried this twice and I also tried it in correspondence with another product that I shared yesterday. So for the first day I tried Cashmere, which is 360. I found that it was slightly thick. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way or it just settled in the pod due to the weather. Um, the color match was a little light, but I figured since I was going to be testing it out, I might as well test it out to see which one would fit me. Um, I tried it on a primed eye and a non-primed eye just to see what the difference was in terms of the product hold up time. Um, overall, as you can see, it was fairly thick and it didn't blend very well. Um, and this is what it looked like in natural light. Once again, I did try it in correspondence with another product. And by the end of the day, I noticed that it really did um, settle into my uh, under eyes. And for the second day, this I used the um, shade Pecan, which is 380. That one seemed to be a better color match, but again, it still seemed to be rather thick. And the blending... Uh, process was still a little kind of sticky and it didn't really blend out as I'd hoped. It seemed to match fairly well under my eyes, but as the day went on, I kind of noticed it started to settle. I didn't add any primer for the second day at all to either eye, um, just to see how it would work. Um, overall, by the end of the day, I did notice that it did start to crease and it did start to cake around the corner of my eye, as you can see there. And on this, for this photo, you can really see it towards the corner. And I noticed that even along my um, lash line, it was kind of hard to remove when I was removing it at the end of the day. Um, and it did crease fairly um around my nose as well. I don't know if just because I didn't blend it out enough, but stay tuned. So hi everyone. As I mentioned today, I'm talking about the Infallible um, Full Coverage Concealer. So basically this was the little uh, paper that they sent. It actually came in, in a box originally, um, but it just, they sent this with all the little pods. I have the pods right here. Um, as you can see, they were all just standard and they have a fair amount of um, product in them and this one this one is cat this one is pecan and this one is cashmere um, as you can see they were very nicely sealed with foil uh, overall I wasn't impressed by this um, again I can't really attest to it being um, Full coverage because I felt like I mentioned in the video that it didn't really blend well so I don't know if it's just that the product settled in the pods or maybe since it was mailed it the consistency changed a little bit due to temperature changes but I felt that it was really thick and it really didn't blend even using my finger I noticed that it just kind of sat there it didn't necessarily blend and when I tried it with the foundation that I shared yesterday, it didn't really make a difference. I used the sponge and I kind of patted it over and it just sat there. It really didn't smooth out. It didn't do anything. It just sat there. And I really saw that it really creased really bad under my eyes. It just sat in the creases and it just, and it started to separate. It looks weird, but let me show you what the color looks like really quick. If I can get my finger in there. Um, so the colors weren't too bad. They sent six. So it was just the basic shades that you would think that they would have. Overall, they have 25 according to the little paper. Um, I've added the link to L'Oreal below. And let me just show you guys what the concealer looks like. And I tried not to add too much because I thought maybe it was creasing because I added just too much. But even now that I'm running it onto my hand, it's it's fairly thick. So let me do it this way. This this one. This one is pecan. And this one is the um cashmere. 
So as you can see, the coverage is fairly thick and it really did sit in my creases of my skin. So it, if I can blend it out a little bit, you guys can see what I mean. And I noticed that the, right now that I can smell it, the pecan smells like flowers. It smells kind of, has kind of like a rosy scent. I just thought it was my imagination, but right now that I'm blending it out into my hand, you can really smell it. So that is pecan. And then this is the cashmere. The cashmere didn't smell like anything, but pecan. Oh no, I take it back. The cashmere also smells kind of florally now. I, again, I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to smell all the time or it was just temperature changes. But as you can see, it is really thick on my fingers. So this isn't something that I would use um, for myself because I wasn't, again, very thrilled with it. I didn't think that it really, the color match wasn't too bad for the pecan, but it didn't really have a blendability to me. I don't know if it was just, again, because it, it um, maybe the product settled due to temperature changes or who knows. So I just thought I'd share my opinion about the infallible uh, full wear concealer with you guys. Um, let me know what you guys think about it, if anybody's tried it. Um, if I was to find uh, one of the colors that I thought would match me on sale, I'd probably buy it just to try an actual tube to see if it did the same thing. But from the pods, I'm not extremely impressed by it. Um, so I hope everybody has a good day. Bye.